the outlook for FY15 is for a similar rate of growth to what we've just shown now in the interims, in other words the 9%, and that obviously at the end of the day is what investors are looking for, uh, guidance on as the most important factor of driving the share price. So to recap on what we said to you in August, we felt that growth of 8 to 8.5% 8 was achievable. At the time, we were talking about like for like property income growth, bottom line sort of core growth from the fund of inflation or slightly above inflation and at the time inflation was around about 6%. What we also told you is that the depreciation charge that we've previously taken off our distributions was no longer going to be taken off our distributions because we were the only ones in the market taking off the depreciation. So what that would have effectively done is had a once-off adjustment in our, in our distributions and that has added an extra couple of percent to the growth numbers. So at the time we were talking 8 to 8.5% 8 core growth plus that depreciation that was no longer going to be deducted off our distributions and clearly then the, the number of 9% is a number that we are proud of and we hope the market will be positively surprised by. If you take Emira's performance from the end of January 2014 to the end of January 2015, which is pretty much the last rolling 12 months, Emira has delivered 60% total return to investors. And that is ahead of the rest of the sector uh, and the SAPI, the SA listed property sector, 43%. So not only are these good results, but our share price and our total return to investors has been 17% more than the rest of the sector. And that's obviously something that we've been working towards for a long time, and it's something that we want to highlight because we're very proud of that. The outlook for the distributions for the coming year, as I've said earlier, we're expecting similar growth for the full year. In other words, 9% of distribution growth for the full year. We maintain that that is achievable. And then the final slide really just talks about the relative yield of Amera compared to the rest of the sector. According to INET consensus numbers, Emera is on a rolling forward yield to December of 7.8% uh, versus the sector of 6.3%. So notwithstanding the fact that we've delivered fantastic total returns to shareholders and that we've outperformed the rest of the property sector over the past 12 months, uh, we certainly feel, still feel that on a relative basis with market-related growth and a significantly high yield uh, that our shares are worth, worth some interest.